Uh, so I'm Jamin Smith. I'm the community manager at Born Ready Games, and this is our game Strike Suit Zero. The, the history preceding the game starts not in the not too distant future. The human race discovers a technology called fold technology, which essentially allows them to, it's, it's like a warp drive, and it allows them to explore space a lot quicker than, well, they ever could have. So they colonize space, and this is the UNE, they're the, the, the Space Force essentially. And they, they colonize space, but back on Earth there's the colonies who band together against the UNE. So you kind of got this civil war of sorts going on, which takes place in space, massive space war. Um, on top of that, there is a, a third entity that's brought into this war, but we're not ready to talk about that just yet. Narrative is something we're keeping reasonably close to our chest, so I don't want to talk too much more about that. Um, at the crux of the narrative itself is uh, save Earth. We want um, There's a, a notion of action and consequence. So your actions in, in each level will directly affect what happens to Earth at the end of the game. So you need to kind of be thinking, there's no necessarily failure. if. If you do a certain action in game, it has a direct effect on Earth itself by the end of the game. So this is a purpose-built mission we've built specifically for REST. Um, and it is, it, it will be in the game eventually, but it's, we've, we've tweaked it so that it's, it's good for the show. Um, so, over the game. Strike Suit is a space combat game. Um, fans of the genre will probably notice that there's been very few space combat games in recent years. And uh, as a studio, we were well aware of this and decided to, to make a game that we felt would fill the space. And uh, what you see now is that game. So, one of the big things at the very heart of the game is the strike suit itself, which you can see now floating about. Um, the strike suit at the moment is in its uh, flight mode. You'll see later on, uh, based on the rage meter in the top right, you can transform into the strike mode, the mech mode. So this is a mecha. It will transform, and once it does, the gameplay it changes quite considerably. Um, you'll have to wait a moment to see that, but um, essentially you get time dilation, so it, all, it slows right down. Gives you a lot more choice in terms of what you can choose to attack and how you go about doing that. You're a lot more powerful as well, and. Um, one of the, the biggest problems with older space combat games, uh, I mean at the time it wasn't really a problem, but you look back now and it's quite archaic, uh, which is the jousting mechanic. So you're always flying past each other. Uh, that will happen to an extent in the, the flight mode here, but when you shift into, um, into the strike mode, which I'll, I'll do in a second, um, it, it really changes things up. And uh, it's the, it offers a lot more scope for strategy and for depth. So, as you can see, when you destroy targets, that rage meter builds gradually. Um, it's best to wait till it's, you know, a decent way full before you start using it, so that you can really put it to use. But, um, so that was the strike mode there. So time slows down, a lot more powerful. As you can see, we just destroyed three, three targets once there, which is pretty nice. So we've got a full rage meter at the moment, which um, I think some uh, capital ships spawn in the moment, which gets to show off some, uh, some different gameplay. So at the moment we're playing with a joystick, which um, a lot of players here at Res today haven't used a joystick for quite some time, and the same with us here. But uh, it lends itself perfectly to the, to the gameplay. And uh, once you get used to it, it takes a little while to get used to, but um, once you do, it's definitely the way to play. Of the three methods we've got here today, uh, keyboard, pad, and joystick, I think joystick's the most, most immersive and ultimately the most fun. And I think based on today's feedback, we're going to really push for that in our, with our final build and make sure it fully supports you know, joysticks. So things start to get a bit more hectic as we proceed here. We've got to protect this cruiser, which is one of our allied ships. Uh, if that dies, you'll see the health bar on the bottom right there. If we fail to protect it, it's, it's game over, so we need to make sure we're protecting it. Within that, there's, there's plenty of options. You can take on the, the enemy fighters, you can take on the missiles that are being fired from larger ships, the capital ships, uh, and ultimately you can take on the capital ships themselves, which is the best way to end this, this res mission we've got here. Uh, they should spawn in a second, actually. Uh, here we go, so here's the three enemy capital ships. Now as the thing's starting to get even more interesting in terms of firepower, it starts to get a little bit, a little bit crazy. So as I say, there's plenty of options now. The main thing is to, to build up that rage bar, which we've done now. So the best option is to, is to get right in there, switch into strike mode, 
uh, and start dealing some damage, which you'll see damage increases dramatically once you're in strike mode. Um, here we go. Go out. So you can take on multiple targets in strike mode a lot easier. Generally deal a lot more damage. Is the, the HUD on the screen at the moment is placeholder. Uh, we have a HUD that's looking really, really great, but it just missed this, this res build. So what you're seeing at the moment is all placeholder. The same goes for the audio at the moment as well. We are pre-alpha, so it's just looking good, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. talk about the design of the, the strike suit itself, uh, as I was saying earlier, Junji Okobu, who's our mech designer, he favours a, a Western design philosophy, which when you compare that to a lot of mech design and anime and, and game culture, uh, it's, quite, it's quite different. He's, he's very functional in his approach to design. So when you watch the ship, the, the fight in its uh, flight mode transform, it's, you know, it, it, it makes sense, it works. He, uh, Junji's a very functional designer and that comes across in our game in terms of the animation and how it, how everything plays out. We'll have uh, it's not in this build, but when the game launches, there'll be fully customizable weapon loadouts and upgradable weapons as well. We've only, we've got set weapons in here at the moment, uh, just the missiles and the guns. But um, the full game, you'll be able to customize your loadouts. It's also worth pointing out that the strikes that you're seeing now is one of several vessels that you'll be able to pilot in the game. We'll also have kind of like uh, bombers, interceptors, and there's a, yeah, there's a few different craft you can pilot. We don't want to talk about all of them today, but the, there's a lot of varied gameplay in, in the terms of the ships that you'll be able to take control of. So yeah, that, that's uh, Strike Suit Zero. We're releasing in autumn of this year. And uh, so that'll be uh, PC lead, so Steam, Origin, other digital platforms. And um, fingers crossed, console in early 2013.